Mr. Tesslonian here. Sorry about the wind, so I'm gonna keep this short. What you're looking at in front of you is a hydrofoil chassis that I've been working on. What we're gonna do today is take this hydrofoil chassis out and test it behind the boat by dragging it. We're gonna attach the kayak to the top of that frame, hook a tow rope up to that, and we're gonna drag it just to see how well this hydrofoil system works. In the end of the project, I'll show you what we're gonna do is mount basically an integrated uh, flotation system right around the two sides of the frame, an electric power plant in there, as well as adding basically a jet ski style seat to the back end of this. Uh, one of the things about designs like this one that you see, this arc design, is that the tips of the foil are gonna start breaking through the surface before the center of the foil, slowing down or reducing the amount of lift that the foil is providing, basically allowing the foil to set back down into the water to where it wants to run. Because if these foils come out of the water, what can happen is that the boat can change the angle of the foil enough that it'll actually have a downward angle. And the second it hits the water again, it'll suck the boat right down into the surface of the water really quickly and really hard. It'll actually slap against the surface, causing a lot of damage to your boat, potentially throwing you out of the boat. These flat foils like this are really bad for that. And the only way you can keep these flat foils from basically, once they break the surface from smacking your whole boat back down against the water is by adding these surface piercing side foils right here and all they're doing is adding side pressure against the water between the gaps between the foils or the gap between this foil and the bottom of the boat itself so there's side pressure so it's not an air gap or just a, a vacancy zone sitting there and that'll help reduce the speed in which it'll settle back down in which will keep it from changing the angle of our foils to basically a downward slope making it so it'll dive the boat or the hull into the surface so that's one way you can get rid of that bad effect that a flat foil will create if it comes out of the surface of the water so i've mounted the kayak now to our hydrofoil chassis. I just want to give you a shot of what that looks like before we throw it in the water. You can see how nice and sleek that is. Can you imagine that with a really powerful motor on there, something that's going to give us some speed? It'll be a nice, sleek, fast hydrofoil boat. All right, so I've got the kayak hooked up to the back of our boat. I had to add a bunch of weight inside the back end of it since my design was designed to have a bunch of weight. My body weight, the electric propulsion system's weight, as well as the battery bank. So I've added an electric motor to the back of that and a bunch of weight inside of a crate in there to make this work properly so it'll come up on step evenly. Let's go ahead now, let's give it some gas. Should take very little, we should be able to see, there it goes. Now it looks like it's going to come over a little sideways at first, let's give it a little more gas. And there we are. Both foils are now up on step. Look how nice that foil's working. You can see we're actually riding on the, uh, the lower foil there. That front foil is coming out of the water pretty well. Still not quite as much body weight and motor weight as I'd have in there if I was in there. So it'd be riding a little more towards the back end and a little smoother right now if I had full body weight inside of it. We're also fighting the distortion in the water created by my prop from the boat as well here. But look how nice that's foiling out and riding above the water. It rises up. We're going to slow it down a little bit. All right, let's slow it down and let it drive back down to the water. 